Yo guys, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Caleb one nine here, and uh, welcome to an exclusive YouTube video uh, here on the channel. I asked you guys in a post on YouTube about uh, questions you have for Kale. This is going to be a Q&A video, and um, I'm going to try to answer probably every single comment. Uh, the ones that are serious, uh, at least. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, this was the post. And uh, I would say let's get right into it. The first question comes from Dong Saren Gay. I hope I hope I said it right. If not, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, do you prefer pre rear kale to the current version? K feels a bit weak right now. So what buffs would you add? So first of all, um, I do not prefer the pre rear kale. Um, even though I think pre rear kale was stronger than current kale, I think that. Um, she is more fun to play these days, even though you know you have a a lot of hard times in the current meta, all the all the bad champions, a lot of bad matchups. But I think her kit itself is more fun to play, and I enjoy it more. And the second question is, uh, Kale feels a bit weak right now. So what buffs would you add? Uh, I think I kind of agree with that she's weak. I don't think she's that bad. I think she is really. She can be really strong, but only like in certain um, games. I think most of ga most games suck. Most champions she plays against are just better. So um, if I would have to buff something on her, I would just revert the last E nerfs um, where they took 5% or like in total 10% of uh, her damage. Next question comes from Ricky Test. Is Kale top viable in Diamond or should Kale or be on? Is Wait. Is Kale top viable in Diamond or should Kale on be played mid in that elo? I think Kale is viable in Diamond elo. Um, I think it just becomes extremely hard once you hit like Diamond 2, Diamond 1, Master elo or even higher. I think she definitely works in top lane. There are a lot of champions who still counter her. I, I prefer mid lane. Um, I think she is viable in uh, most games. But again, a lot of champions like Irelia. I, I always run Irelia when I play top lane. Uh, that make kill top lane really hard. Also, you don't really get any jungle help. Uh, so, I think it's viable, but only really into matchups that you can play. Such as Chen, Cyan works, Singe works. And, um, yeah. Kraki <laughs> asks, how big are Kale's hands in centimeters? I think Kale's hands are about... I would say 20 centimeters. Uh, Harun Notorious asks, is it bad to have Kale on a team when you already have a ranged play in ADC, which does exactly the same thing? Does it take up too much for the team comp? I don't think so. I think, especially in solo queue, team comps absolutely don't matter. Of course, you know, uh, in like high elos and stuff, they matter. But in solo queue, uh, everything works. I don't think it matters at all. Uh, Ian or Ian ask, how do you recover from losing lane? Uh, losing lane with Kale is really bad. Uh, Kale is a late game champion, and Kale already has a hard time in early game. And if you lose early game, uh, it's hard to recover. But the best thing you can do is just you know, scale. Uh, I like to buy Kale a lot, and just try to get as much CS and XP as possible, and just you know, just farm, 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 farm. Uh, Copter ask what to buff on her. pre kill was much better. Maybe being able to attack during ult and remove ult damage. No, I think there would be... Uh, I don't want the ult ult back. Uh, it's nice. Uh, I'm used to the damage stuff. I think, again, uh, just rewarding the last E nerfs would be more than enough. How to position with Kale in teamfights? Akif asks. Um, I think you position yourself like an ADC. Backline, you know, you don't want to play frontline. You kind of... I mean, I'm a really greedy player, so you should really take, uh, you know, just copy what I do. I like to just flash in people and just try to one-shot someone and just pray to God I, I, it works out. But uh, the best thing you can do is just stay back, stay front line, you know, just attack from distance, uh, play safe, and I think, uh, yeah, that's the best thing. Alex Dister asks, would you prefer Kale to be less impactful late game and more relevant early on, or would you change to bring her back to meta without making her broken again? 
again, same thing, just revert the E. Everything else would be kind of broken, like giving a true damage or whatever would make her really, really broken. Uh, and honestly, I don't want Kale to be more impactful earlier on. I think you can make it work, and I, I just like the ability to scale. You know, just never giving up, trying your best, just getting, you know, those level 16, getting those items. Um, I like that, so I wouldn't change anything about that. Um, okay, that's a troll question. <laughs> so let's ask, if you had to change something in Gears Abilities, what would it be? Uh, I personally would would give her back true damage, but I know that it would be just too strong. So, um, yeah, I really like the mana refund from Q, but uh, it's kind of fine since E costs no mana. These are the two things I would love to have, but, you know, it would be too strong. Um, ML Shiza, I hope I said it right, uh, ask, what made you start being a KL OTP? So, uh, back in Season 5, when I used to play a lot of different champions, there was a, a enemy KL jungle, Smurf account. He played only Olaf and KL jungle. And I don't remember what I played, but I just remember that we kind of just, you know, kind of hardstormed the enemies, and we couldn't finish the game. And there was one team fight at a inhibitor tower in mid lane, where the enemy Kale just out of nowhere one v five Penta killed us, and I was like, I want to play the champion. That's insane. I want to play that. Yeah, since then basically I've been one tracking Kale. Um, <clears throat> Copter asks practical example for positioning in a team fight. Uh, again, what I said earlier. Uh, basically just ADC, um, backline, and you're good to go. Uh, George asks why we can't get a revert Lucas. What do you want to revert? Um, I think people just change over time. I think uh, I've I've uh, becoming a better self, better myself every day. So why uh, revert me? At uh, Dust and Shadow asks, do you think against beefier teams it's good to rush box second items instead of uh, full crit? When playing AD Kale, of course, um, I explained it a lot in, in my stream. But uh, the reason why AD Kale, uh, or especially Crit Kale, is so strong is because you just straight up go all three crit items. You go Kraken Slayer, 20% crit. You go PD, you get 20% crit. And then you finish up with Infinity Edge, get the 60% crit. And then also get the bonus passive damage from Infinity Edge with 60% crit. Um, you can go Kal afterwards. But I think if you if you want to buy Cull, then the crit build is not the right um, build. I think you should maybe try hybrid build with uh, Borg, Kraken, and Nash's Tooth, or even Ginzu. Uh, that works. But um, in a crit build, I think Borg is not the great in uh, after maybe after three items, not but not before that. As Sebastian asks, how do you reach challenge of playing KL only? Um, I think it's really, really hard to uh, reach Challenger of Kale only simply because uh, Kale is weak early game. People just know how to abuse it. And um, it's a lot of practice. You have to play pretty much perfect every game. You should also probably just dodge every single bad matchup. Um, and I think it takes a lot of time and uh, practice and hard work to reach Challenger of only playing Kale. I mean, it's my goal. I will be there one day, guys. I promise you. Uh, but until that, it's, you know, gonna be a, uh, a long and, uh, heavy road. Miozek asks, would you like Chaos Ultimate to have a root effect for a change? I think your ultimate needs some tweaking. Um, I don't think so. I think Kale is designed to be either, like, broken or, like, not that strong. And I think just giving her extra CC and ult would just make her absolutely broken. Um, so I don't think that's a good idea. So let's ask... Uh, again, White Kale isn't good playing top. Uh, I have a video on this. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, it's in the bottom right, uh, top right. Uh, basically, for the people who just want to have a short answer, um, I play mid lane because it's faster to get there. The turrets in between, uh, there's a smaller gap in between the turrets, which makes it... Uh, easier for you to get back to lane. Uh, in top lane, you know, the first tier 2 and the, and the second tier 2 tower, uh, tier 1 and tier 2 tower, they're really far um, um, in, the, in between. There's so much space. And what happens in like high those that uh, is that junglers just, you know, stay there, wait there until you go back to lane and just keep on killing you. Uh, also, I like the matchups in mid lane a bit more than top lane. 
And also, I feel like you get more jungle help and overall you just have more impact uh, than top lane. Uh, so let's ask again, in what rank did you start maining Kale? I started, I think, in Platinum 4 or Platinum 3 in uh, Season 6. How to stop balding? Don't ask me. I'm the wrong person. Space, Space Celery, ask, am I the only one that misses pre-work Kale and the way the old range autos work? I uh, know, I also miss it, um, but you know, it's, it's, I think it's time to just move on and uh, you just have to accept that she won't ever come back again and uh, just make the best out of it, honestly. Uh, Casey, oh sorry, ask, how should I choose between AD or AP in every game? Is it good to pick Kale when your team lacks uh, a frontline or is it, or is she... Uh, suff sufficient without one. I'm not sure if if I said it right. Um, for your first question, basically, uh, I right now go every single time. Uh, I go AD every single time I can. Um, if, however, we have a uh, full AD comp already and I'm forced to go AP, I will also go AP. I personally think that AD is stronger right now. Uh, you have a better early game. Uh, really nice scaling as well. So I would always go AD. But when your team uh, needs AP, like when there's full AD, just go AP. It's also fine. And I don't think it matters if you're frontline or not. Uh, it's solo queue. Everything works. Probably ask, can you make a matchup sheet for K in mid lane, please? Yes, I can do one. Uh, it might take a, a bit uh, of time. Uh, but I will for sure do one for mid lane. As well as ask, after how many seasons you said to yourself, okay, I learned to play Kale. Uh, I explained it earlier. Uh, it wasn't like, like this at all. Uh, Ion Kalkos asks, is Kale your waifu? Yes, he's my waifu. Nameless asks, Kale needs buffs AD style. No, I think the AD build is really strong. I don't think it needs any buffs. Uh, then then Nozen asks, pineapple or no pineapple? Which hit is meant to be about Kale? Do you think in every game is winnable if you're playing Kale? I think every game is winnable. You know, of course, they're just games that are absolutely unwinnable. But I think um, if you really just want to try and I think... 99% of the games are winnable if you just, you know, it's solo queue. People make mistakes and, uh, you know, if there aren't like three AFKs in your team, I think every game is winnable. And uh, I, uh, I'm i I'm a fan of pineapple, but not on pizza. Should I max E first on Kale? Uh, Uyok, I think you can both, uh, you can do both Q max and E max. What I do right now is put three points into Q and then max E. It gives you a uh, early... Damage with Q, and you still get your 5e e points uh, at level 11. Tal Salari asks, what champions you like to play other than Kale? Honestly, right now, I don't really enjoy anything at all. I played a bit of Diana and Oriana, but uh, I think I'm just really weird. I, I really just like playing Kale. It just never gets boring. Pearly asks, how do I get the hairline? Um, play a lot of Kale and uh, mold a lot. I think this helps. So just ask again, what are the basics to main Kale? Uh, you just need really good mental, you need um, a really good understanding of the game, and you need to, you know, uh, be able to uh, adapt to situations, especially early on, just understand how, how the game works. Uh, one I Chen ask, why do you like Kale? Uh, I like the 1v9 potential that you have. I like the ability to scale it really crazy. And, um, yeah, I just like champions that no one really else plays. Um, yeah. Pietro Henrik Sanado da Costa asks, What is the best way to altering a turret dive? How many shots does the uh, the old tank? Oh, Val Valat is here. I, uh, Valat is one of uh, the boys from Twitch. Uh, Valat, I think that uh, it's best to ult later on, not first, because uh, turret shots deal more damage the more you get. So uh, the more you get, the more damage they will they will do. Um, you can tank two shots with level one ult um, if you time it right before the tower shot hits you, and um, it's really hard to do. But uh, usually up to three uh, on level three. Better ask, are you KLBR voice actor? Yes, I am. As well as ask, what tier is Kale in your position? I think Kale is um, A tier right now in mid and uh, top lane. Uh, Sebastian asks, AD or AP Kale? Right now, AD Kale for sure. Um, 
Perfect T asks, Jungle Kale, please. Oh, that's not a question, but uh, Jungle Kale uh, in general is really bad, and the reason why is Kale lacks early sustain, Kale lacks early wave clear, Kale lacks CC, Kale has really low base stats. She gets evaded by every single jungler, so overall, I think that Kale jungler isn't really a good pick. Uh, Wick says, Pogo. Pogo. Um, Enram asks, why do Kale OTPs have such a gigantic cock? Uh, sometimes it's really uh, frustrating. And uh, I don't know, man. Uh, it's the gens. It's the gens. And Zodas asks again, what do you think you need to get better mechanics macro team for CS? I think what I like most is uh, my consistency. I'm really inconsistent. Um, I I know I can play good, but uh, I autopilot still a lot, especially on stream when I read chat and stuff. And uh, I think if I would play full focus 100% every time, I would uh, climb really high. And the last question, Kyle Lucian asks, do you think Kale is gay? And um, this is a good question. I don't think Kale is gay. I think uh, it's a uh, it's a good question, but I don't think uh, he's gay. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it for the FAQ. I think I'm going to do uh, one later again. So uh, if you guys have any questions that didn't get answered in this FAQ or Q&A, please make sure to uh, ask me down in the comments down below. I, will, uh, I would love to do another one. Um, thank you, everyone, who uh, asked a question. Make sure to join uh, the Twitch, the Twitch streams. Uh, I stream every single day right now at uh, around 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, until, yeah, like 7, 8 hours into. So, uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash kale underline 1v9. If you guys want to see me uh, play live. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow in a new video with a insane game uh, I had earlier today on stream. It was a uh, really, really in uh, intense game. And until then, I wish you guys a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, peace out.